So this is a Nerf Blaster. Well, it's a Nerf Blaster in the same way a Husky is kind of a wolf, like not the same thing. But yeah, added some stepper motors so it can pan and tilt, sprinkle a little bit of AI in that, and we have this. So this right here is a monster of a project. It was not easy to do at all. Like things just kept breaking. The code just wasn't working. And for some reason, I kept taking me as Homelander. But yeah, like I said, not an easy project. But I cannot lie to you. Watching this thing work is amazing. So right here, I'm using Python to basically do the OpenCV, find my face, calculate all of that stuff right there. So you can see that right here. When I run the program, boom, 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 boom tracks my face. See that line from the center of my face to the center of the screen. And at the bottom of the screen right here, you see the values. Those are the delta X and delta Y values. If I'm here, both values are negative. If I'm in this corner of the screen, both are positive, uh, positive, negative, and negative, positive. Kind of like the normal X, Y plane, all that stuff. So how am I even doing this? Like, how am I finding my face? All right, so how does this work? So basically, all I need is a couple pictures of myself all of me but just looking just a little bit different just to add a little bit of variety to it so i take all these pictures feed them into a machine learning algorithm and once that's complete we're basically done so all i have to do is hook up a camera to the computer then run a little bit of code and if it sees my face as the input image it's going to register at that as polar if it sees a different face it's not going to do anything and that's basically how this whole process works. Okay, all that information, those X, Y values are being sent straight to this Arduino right here. And from the Arduino, they are going straight to these stepper motor drivers, which are in turn controlling these stepper motors. So this is a cool mechanism. I kind of found a version online that I designed my own, which it just looks sick. So this one controls the tilt. The other one right there is on an internal gear and it controls the pan. And that's how it's able to do that cool motion. So that's how it controls those. Then the Arduino also, when it finds uh, a face, for example, Homelander, it sends to the servos to, first of all, pull the motor driver, then also pull the trigger to actually shoot. So yeah. So I already tested it out with a stagnant target, which is the one I just taped to the shelf and it worked perfectly, but I wanted to step it up a little bit. So these are basically just four bar mechanisms using servos to articulate them with the Homelander taped to the end of the stick. So the goal is for them to be able to pop in and out of frame and try to confuse the robot. It actually did work really well. Like in testing it, once the target went into frame, the robot just went straight to it powered up the motors and started shooting, which was perfect. But there were still a few situations where when I had both targets up, the robot literally didn't know which one to choose. So it was just moving between both targets and not actually shooting any. After like a little time, it would just pick one and end up shooting that, but that's more of like a coding problem. So, All right, so I decided to try a drone, cause why not? So the drone I used is the DJI Tello drone. Now this is a really cool drone. Like you can use Python to control it. You can do all these cool things with it. It's even the same drone I used in one of my older videos, the uh, drone bending one. If you guys want to check that out. But yeah, so to be honest with you, this this was, this was bad. Controlling the drone was difficult. Having the uh, Nerf turret find it and shoot in time was also difficult. It did actually get a few shots off, so I can't really complain about it too much, but overall it wasn't, it wasn't too great. Either way, it worked a little bit and that's all that matters. So next time I probably will use like a different drone or just try something else, but yeah, we'll see what happens. But yeah, either way, that's it. Peace.